Hello there everyone and welcome here to St. Petersburg for round number 11 of the Red Bull Supercar Tour here for the penultimate round after this race. One race left to decide a Red Bull champion yet again here. So this time we are here at St. Petersburg here and starting on our pole will be the 22 of uh, Casey Nanako and to his outside Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Behind them, Sam and Austin and Ramian Fisher coming into this race. Zayden Davidson is your points leader after Bathurst, three points ahead of Mitchell Collins. And Fitzwater lost two spots in the championship um, after wrecking out there. So here's your commands. Drivers, start your engines! And the commands have been given. So yeah, after Bathurst was a kind of a wild race out there at Bathurst, who was... Um, Kenny Mayak capturing his first win in the Red Bull Series. He gained five positions after that. He's actually fifth in the standings. Um, and Fitzwater, who's uh, third in the standings, and Fisher, who's fourth. Both lost positions after last round, but here we go. Both are up here today at the front as the green flag waves at St. Petersburg. In the corner one is big right-hander here. Couple drivers driving it really wide, really tight corner into the S's. Got to be careful of the tire barrier and the wall right there. Sam and Austin got into the wall just a little bit. He's able to keep it straight. Fitzwater takes the early lead here as he takes command over the 22 of Casey Nanako into some more S's here. Really tight corners. You get a lot of speed going into these corners and you really want a good drive off, but a lot of drivers get into that wall trying to do so, as you saw right there. Multiple drivers throughout the field getting into that outside wall. And Fitzwater shoots out with the race lead here. He's going to try and make up after Bathurst. As we go through, everyone is still pretty good here. Still racing tight, however. This is a really tough corner. Once again, another driver getting into that corner. Oh, and a big crash. Dylan Young, I believe that is. Or oh, Dylan Abrahamian, rather. And he is done. He slammed that barrier a ton. And he's already out of it as we saw that happen there. Fitzwater will come around and lead lap 108. Casey Nanako, Remy Fisher lined up behind him. Casey Nanako, who's surprisingly not, you know, one in, one, not in the top three in the standings. He's actually sixth, but he's been running pretty well. There's a couple guys going out pit road. Almost everyone single foul. Dylan Young putting the pressure on Audrey Baranowski. She's running pretty well right now in the top 10 is right on board here. Baranowski has not scored a win this season. And unless she can do something here today, she's got to go and try out there at Yas Marina. I don't believe Baranowski has won at a road course here in Norla. Three-time cup champion she is. Fitzwater continuing to lead is pulled the gap majorly on Casey Nanako and Fisher who's right there in third. Fitzwater trying to make up for the race out there, the horrible race for him out there at Bathurst where he wrecked out pretty early and lost a ton of points. You see the lead right there. Most everyone now single file as they go on a corner one. A lot of these guys who's yet to score a win only this race and then Yas Marina to try and get that win before we go away for some time here for a Red Bull. Zane Davidson really far back right now needs to make as many passes as he can and get up there and try to keep his points lead especially with Fitzwater who's currently leading right now. Davidson won out there at uh, Mexico City. He's been really consistent has so many runner-up finishes last couple races so consistency has been key he has seven top fives here this season so far of 11 races and eight top tens really good stats for Zane Davidson is right here and one thing about this track as well is flat like most of the or some of the road courses we go to so passing really difficult unless you have a really good car you see right there's as um, Fitzwater come around and lead. Next time we'll be halfway through the race here. Back in the corner one again. Fitzwater just such a when he, when he comes to these road courses, he's definitely someone you expect to be out front, you know, unless he wrecks out. If he doesn't wreck out, he usually within the top five battling here at these road courses has the 
best average finish and most wins on the road course here in Norla with more than five. He's won, uh, I believe, four times at a road course in the Cup Series. Could be five. And then, of course, he has the um, five wins here in Red Bull. So about ten wins on a road course Fitzwater has. And he also has one, I believe, over in the Xfinity Series. So battle back here. Logan York and I believe that's Jacobs. It's York got into the wall back there. Could be Desmond Allen. Apologize about the little bit of lag we're experiencing. Most everyone still seems to find, like I said, it's really hard to pass. You get a, if you have a fast car, you can make it going into this first corner here. If you get enough speed, gather enough speed into um, corner one. Doesn't look like anyone is too close to each other to try and do so. Casey Nanaka has slightly closed the gap on Fitzwater. He's Trying to run him down with four laps to go here at St. Petersburg. We've only been here, I believe, one other time, and that was in the uh, IndyCar series last season. Fitzwater did run that way, uh, run that race, but didn't get the win. So he's looking for his first win here at St. Petersburg. Nanako, I believe he's de he's definitely closing that gap. He's within range, within passing range, almost. Little battle right here, maybe Kenny Myatt last race is winner, and Mitchell Collins who won at Puka Kohi for his first Red Bull. Both um drivers got their first Red Bull wins this season. Collins looking to try and make the pass, maybe has a little bit of a faster race car, but trying to find an open on Myatt, maybe able to get it down to going into corner one. He's right there, of course, within the draft, and Myatt just gets such a good launch right there. Big launch by Maya coming to two to go or two to go next time by. This is to get inside the top ten, so Oh and Michael or yeah, Michael Collins on pit road in the 88. There's last car on the track, I believe that's Singleton who has a minute. Look at this. About two car lengths here. Separates um, first and second is right on board the helmet cam from Casey Nanako is hunting down Fitzwater here in the final couple laps. Fitzwater looks like he just has better launch and Nanako has a better drive in here. Into the corner here, Nanako gets right up to his back bumper. Yeah, he definitely has a better drive in and then you see the launch right there by Fitzwater. Through the S's. May get a late race pass here for the win. This would help Nanako tremendously in the standings as he drove it a bit wide right there. Fitzwater with the better drive off as they'll be coming to two to go this time by at the line at St. Petersburg. Led by Zachary Fitzwater Sr. These two have now ran away from third place Ramian Fisher. Looks like it's just a two car race here for the race win. Let's see how it goes. Nanako trying to get to the outside of Fitzwater. Fitzwater with the big block right there on the 22. And Nanako trying, maybe try to do a bumper run. He's trying to get there, but Fitzwater with the better drive off in a corner. It's Nanako giving him a run at his money here. Nanako, if he can get this win, he'll tie Fitzwater once again for the most wins here in Red Bull. And if Fitzwater gets this win, then he'll be two wins now ahead of Nanako. Another battle right here, Sam and Austin. And uh, Christian Russell has running, been running really well as he's currently in the top five right now. As you go back to your leaders, less than a lap and a half to go here in St. Petersburg. Through the S's they go. Nanako put in the pressure on Fitzwater. Took him a while to get there, but he got there when it counts. Out of the final corner, Fitzwater with a big drive off will come to the white flag. Want to go at St. Petersburg. I believe Nanako messed up that last corner and that's going to cost him. Big time is right here. Christian Russell maybe going to try and pass now the 20 of Sam and Austin as they go side by side. Russell is not able to clear. Nanako is still trying to get to Fitzwater. Fitzwater has been blocking him for the last two, three laps. Trying to throw him off his balance. Fisher is just hoping that they make a mistake. Oh no, and Nanako gets into the wall. Casey Nanako gets into the wall, and that may have done it. 
Yeah, oh, man, he lost a ton of ground on Fitzwater. Unless Fitzwater can make a mistake, this race may as well be over for Casey Nanako. He's trying to get back to him. Through the final S's. Into the tight corner here. And out of the final corner, Nanako is going to fail to get to Fitzwater as Zachary Fitzwater for the second race in three races will win it as he gets it here at St. Petersburg. Those must have been... Those were some electrifying last two laps right there. Fitzwater, I know his heart got to be pumping right there as Casey Nanako gave him a run for his money, but getting into the wall just destroyed that run for the 22 and gave the win ultimately to Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Casey Nanako. Little he had to watch right there from the front seat to see the win get away from him right there as he now has two wins to try and catch Fitzwater who now sits at, at uh, six wins here in the Red Bull Series. Most of any driver. Fisher, Sam Doskin, and Christian Russell top five. Bernaskis, Young, Skull, Davidson, and Maya your top ten. But Zachary Fitzwater Sr. as the crowd roars, captures his sixth win here in the Red Bull Series. No doubt this will most likely put them back at the top of the uh, points. Um, yeah, the points here after this round because Davidson didn't get a top five and that's where most of the points come from so t tough race for uh, Zane Davidson but it's not over yet as after this we have one race left Yas Marina at there at Abu Dhabi and should be a fun race to watch for the finale here of the Red Bull Supercar Tour so Zachary Fitzwater Sr. strikes again that's the second, or that's the third time, rather, this season. He'll try to repeat again at Yas Marina at the finale. The winner out there will most likely either be second in the standings after the race, or they'll win the championship. So we'll see what happens out there. Guys like uh, Christian, um, Christian Russell, Fitzwater, of course, Nanako, Fisher, can all try and win a championship at Yas Marina. Thank you guys for watching. Congratulations again to your Cup Series champion, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., trying to get a second championship here in Norla as he'll take on the rest of the field out there at Yas Marina. Thank you guys for watching. Fun race here at Yas Marina. The next uh, video you should see will be the finale as we finish up Red Bull and then focus more on the Mock season for the IndyCar series and of course the Arca series. Let's get you down to Victory Lane where Zachary Fitzwater celebrates.